Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome to Aperture Salt Mines. At least the first sort of beta release version of Aperture Salt Mines. The first demo, shall we say. This has been a long time coming from one of our community friends, Orangey Neko. The first demo of Aperture Salt Mines has released, and I was gonna play it as soon as it came out, but apparently there was a few bugs that needed ironing out. So Orangey told me to hold off for a bit. Uh, and, and now has given me the all clear to go ahead. I keep saying I am so interested to see if RNG has managed to make all of these maps Rorius proof. Because I am known, <laughs> I feel like I'm known, for uh, breaking or for otherwise finding the unintended solutions to puzzles when it comes to Portal and other puzzle games. So I'm really keen to dive in and see what they've done. Start with into the Mines, Chapter 1. All content is still a work in progress and subject to change. Is this the video that RNG was mentioning? He wanted my reaction to... No? Okay. RNG mentioned a video. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, 1969. Your personal pathway to prosperity. <laughs> Neat. SP2810, okay. Now, I'm sure there are references that I'm- that are, to the, like, dev team that I'm going to miss. <laughs> I do apologize to the dev team if I miss it. Exit 13. This is reminding me a bit of, like, the Mel intro. Uh, but this looks very different. Like, they're structurally very different. Okay. Ooh. I've seen the concept art that Tiana drew of this section. Very cool to see it, like, in person now. Live. Oh, I don't have the- oh, there we are, that's Zoom. Some of the text things haven't been fully replaced. I noticed that in the menu as well. Uh, the- in the- the, like, buttons. But keybinds and stuff, there's a few that are still missing the <laughs> text, but it's all good, it's all good. Uh, best new science company. Oh, there's, these, are the, these are the messages from the from, uh, from Crash Bandicoot 2. From Portal 2. <laughs> I've been playing too much Crash Bandicoot recently. Everything's Crash Bandicoot in my mind. Mr. Test Subject, 1956. Uh, who will be <laughs> Mr. Test Subject? As if it's like a... A prize. You win, Mr. Test Subject. Like Miss Universe. <laughs> I don't know if that's in the original, but I don't remember it. Welcome to Aperture. With the the sign just over the top of the other sign. Where well, the science is theoretical, but your $60 is fact. <laughs> yeah. Please, wait for attendant to begin lift. Thank you. Ooh. Fancy lift. I know some of these transitions are sort of skipping over stuff. So that this that spot on the elevator there might not transition straight to where we're about to go. Um, because there's a bunch of things are... Not everything's in line. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, here we go, here we go. I was going to say, I believe not everything is in line in this demo. I might be mistaken. Ooh! We've got credits down the bottom left. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Once again, this is reminding me of... What mod is that? Is that Mel? <laughs> a mod that, that has you sinking into the ground in a big elevator. I'm seeing all my friends' names. <laughs> the bottom left. Nice. That's really cool. Control room. The test shafts one through eight.
I like how yeah, I'm, I'm seeing all the real names of uh, <laughs> of my friends. I shall continue to refer to them by their usernames uh, for 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 personal. Um, I want to say security or like just privacy reasons. Oh, special thank you to Roy Van Westrand. Ah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> I think that's the Anamika. That's the. Isn't she from the tag team? Bell Software. Yeah. I might be mistaken. <laughs> Ooh. We've got the spheres. We're going down very far. Where's the. 875 meters? Yep. <laughs> Nearly a kilometer down. <laughs> I'm like running around like a kid. Excited kid trying to. See out the out the side of the elevator. So close. Basically, like a kilometer down, about now. There it is. <laughs> yeah. This elevator ride probably doesn't need to be this long. <laughs> Could be sped up a little bit. I haven't matched the credits. So I guess, yeah, if more credits come along, yeah, it, it could fill more of the time, but um, I haven't matched the credits in terms of speed, what I would recommend. <laughs> Still going, 1150, but it looks like we might be arriving at our destination, sure looks like our destination. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I had a feeling that would be a, its own map. Because it was a long way down. I wonder if that's the map that RNG was saying is literally the build height maximum. It might be. You can use trickery in Portal 2 Hammer uh, to not actually have to use the build height maximum. But um, if it fits, you know, why not? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this looks familiar. Oh, this this room looks highly familiar to the room that you sort of like puzzle your way through at the in one part of Portal 2. It's not the same room, it's definitely not, but it's very similar. Um aesthetically. Ooh. <laughs> hey, I thought every single one of these was... I uh, had a no clip. <laughs> I remember RG was... Yeah, because I've been, I've been chatting with RG about the game a bunch prior to its release. RG was saying, put like no clips on all the like railing things because I... That's something I almost always do <laughs> is immediately jump onto railings. <laughs> it's just a thing I always am fixated on. Ooh. Stress relieving tea. <laughs> Is this Tiana's influence? <laughs> Black tea, salted. 100% uh, organic. Flavored with orange zest, dried cloves, star anise, and cinnamon. Wintry sunsets. Ooh. Nice. And of course, <laughs> Aperture brand toilet paper. Only $9.99. Aperture. Uh, gustatory. Innovators with salt. Of course, everything's salted because it's after salt mines. Oh my god. What's the blue stuff? Oh, is it. Is it pudding? <laughs> is it. Uh, repulsion pudding? $7.99. If it is, that's a brilliant little detail. 
<laughs> Ooh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the piano doesn't work. Salt way and sons. I'm probably going to be mucking around a bunch in this. Ooh. Little backstage. I think I see the way I'm supposed to go. But there's a bunch of to, a bunch here to explore. There's like the upstairs, but there's that door that's open. That feels like the right way to go. I don't want to go through there just in case it closes behind me. I want to go upstairs real quick. I can just imagine RNG screaming at me. <laughs> Not screaming at me, but like getting flustered at me for doing certain things. Cosmic Ray Spallation uh, elements. Ooh. Well, I suppose I should head on my way. Yeah, I'm just, I was just like, as soon as I thought, thought of like, I jumped on the railings, and I'm like, this railing is jumpable, I'm immediately like, imagining RNG being like, well, I didn't mean those railings. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm like a child, you know? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Ah, yeah, see, there we go. <laughs> There's the no clips. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Very good. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is the like. Ah, oh, theoretically you could go this way, but it's blocked off. Hmm. They make you go the long way around. Aperture science innovators. Do I go the stairs way? And oh, nah, let's take the lift. There we go. Or I could have gone the stairway. <laughs> Check for it. No clips. Vitrified. Vitrified. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. I technically. Oh, cool. I technically didn't loiter for 20 minutes. Technically didn't. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm so curious because, again, like I've played my friends' maps before, and I feel like every time I've managed to at least in every mod and every friends' maps, at least once I've managed to do something the wrong way. <laughs> So I'm really keen to see if this is, in fact, Rory proof. Rory is proof. Oh! I, I was making a comment before about the length of the lifts. I bet audio is supposed to play there. Audio that hasn't been recorded yet? That'll be it. It's like my mod having the- Oh, into the mines, there we go. It's like my mod- my, my, the portal, version for Portal 2, Portal Unity for, for Portal 2. I stripped out all the dialogue just because I wanted to just have the maps released. Uh, and so there's areas where there's like pauses that aren't explained. It's because dialogue used to be there. And um, up until, up until very close to release, I was intending to redo all the sounds, all the voices. But, um, you know, I ended up deciding to just, it was just too much work. I just wanted to get it out. Oh, this is the cool new uh, portal instantiator thingy. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very cool model, very cool particle effects. Very nicely done. Oh, right. Eh. No! <laughs> Damn it, I... I figured it out too late. Hell yeah. Is that timed? It is timed. 
Any indicator of how long that'll be? No, but it's short. Okay. Does it open more than one portal? It does. Ah, I see. They've recreated that idea of being able to see yourself through the portal. I'll be at a little distanced, so it's a little hard to see, <laughs> but still, it's still there. Where is the blue portal in relation to this? Oh, up there. I should just follow the indicator signs. Um, okay. So yeah, all, all that's needed is... Right, yeah, this is some- oh, no, 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 don't funnel me in. <laughs> Portal 2 is auto funneling. Nearly uh, ruining my steez. Yeah, there we go. Next test chamber this way. Oh dear. Huh. So there's some implications of uh <laughs> really box me in. <gasps> They're like, no, you're not jumping out of bounds, Rory. <laughs> oh yeah. Eh. <laughs> eh. Alright. Um, yeah, so some implication of some previous map usage and destruction. And it all looks rusty as though this is we are once again here out of time. You know, like we're we're not here when it was fresh. That's it. I like this little detail, although... Oh, is that clipping through the... It's clipping through the glass. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I was gonna say, I, I really like this detail. It shows that... It, it, it shows off the fact there's glass there. For people who have, like, systems who may, you know, may not... Either they don't notice the reflections, or they don't have reflections, or something. Um, uh, the, the panels up against the glass there show that there's glass. That's good, that's a nice detail. Um, okay. So, wait, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What do we, what do we got here? Orange portal over there. And what do I have access to over here? Just a cube? Okay. Oh, it's one of the exit door pieces. Pieces. One of the two exit door requirements. Ah. <laughs> what if that's perfectly timed so it always falls on the other side? Oh. Almost missed that. I do like time indicators. I'm assuming that's a... I go like that. It's up there, yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can do this properly. Okay, okay. And then uh, this box goes on this button over here. And then, uh, I believe I saw it just a second ago. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I like the dynamic music. Cool. <laughs> okay, so far I feel like I'm doing them normally. I'm doing all the tests normally. I'm seeing what I'm supposed to see and not I'm not glitching anything out. <laughs> I will always check <laughs> every stairwell. Um, okay. That opens the door. It also gets rid of the fizzler. We've got a portal here. 
which, um, oh dear, gets turned off when I press a button, but that raises that. We've got a portal here and a box there. Okay, what have we got through here? A box dropper that is a fit that is dropped over there. Cool, cool. And now where does this portal lead? Oh, the portal leads up there, I think. I think I, saw, I caught a tiny glimpse of a particle effect. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So that allows me to go back to that button. Okay. Just really quick. Oh, you need the door open. I was like, what's stopping me from just going straight to the end? The door. <laughs> the door! And I suppose that's just that, that I need... Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's all cohesive. It's all very cohesive. Um... Yeah. I have found no faults, no notes. That was, I was nice that that was placed. The portals were placed, so they, I moved forwards. I don't remember what the portal, that other portal was faced like, but I figured it out in, before I fell to my demise. Um, but that one was good. That was already faced the way I needed to face. That's nice. Little, little like quality of life touches like that are always nice to see. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's the end of this bit. Once again, oh wait a minute, I got a bit of traction on that one. <laughs> eh. Eh. But yeah, there's once again broken test chamber in the background. Hmm. I'm curious to know the story. But I'm gonna guess that this is just a gameplay demo. We're not going to get much story yet. Oh, I hear. Oh, I thought I heard. I was like, I heard a portal placement. Do we get the portal gun here? No. <laughs> it was just automatic portal. Oh, but that that looks familiar. That little stand. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, let's just walk through. Oh, okay. So that's somewhere. Possibly there? No? I think it's up the top there. I have a feeling it's up the top. Nope. Oh, it's down there. Yeah. Well, just a second before I do that. Let's have a look around what else we have. We have this portal as well. It opens to also that deep down location. Cool. We have a fling portal, but no auto portal. Almost as if this is going to deliver us a portal gun. <laughs> okay. Um, once again, automatically facing the way I wanted it to. Oh, I haven't pressed the button yet. That is so typical of me. Alright. So, where do I need to take this? So, something up there must turn off. I'm gonna leave this here. Something up there must turn off that low down portal. No? Hmm. 
Or maybe it flips it. Because now we've got the orange portal down there. Oh, wait, no, yeah, it does deactivate it. It activates this one instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little like uh, confetti come out of the things. It's brilliant. So yeah, this is their brand new portal gun design that they've come up with. At the moment, we can only play support the blue portal. And the, yeah, the new, if you look closely, you've got the new shell or... What's her name again? Abby? <laughs> it's like, I can't remember the name of the new... The new shell. Uh, whatever the case, I shall make it... I'll get myself out of here. <laughs> it's very much like duct taped together. There's like a little keychain with the Aperture logo on it. There's like it's two little bits of tape over where the blue dot is. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. Okay, so yeah, what we gotta do, I believe, is probably go back up. Hmm. We need to go back up there and get rid of the, the uh, box. But with that orange portal there, how do we do that? Hmm. Oh, I can just call the box and delete it. There we go. So now that portal's back open again. Nice. Go over here. We're going to need that box again. Actually, I'm going to go get the box first. I see a crack in the wall and I'm like, secret? <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about secrets just yet. I'm going to hope that there's something to disable. Actually, I'll put it here. But I'm going to hope there's something to disable... Uh, the Fizzler. Oh, no, there's just a portal placeable surface over here. Of course. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yep. <laughs> that's the thing I can do. Oh, I can't place that anymore. All the buttons are disabled. Ooh, okay. We good. Yeah, perfect. Once again, I don't feel like I've broken anything yet. But I feel like I tend to break stuff in the, like, at the harder end of puzzles. When puzzles get really challenging, really tough, uh, that's when I tend to break them because, like, I can't solve it normally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that maintains itself pretty well permanently. Ah, oh, yes, yes, okay. I see, I see. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do the thing. Do that, and then that. I will say, we haven't, like, I know, um, I, th I believe, I do believe, I remember Orangey saying something about not trying to introduce mechanics that already existed. Uh, which is, yeah, that's, in this, in that case, in that log, with that logic, it's, fu it's fine. I was about to make a comment about the fact that, um, the, uh, blue, Blue gel is immediately introduced and then, like, used in conjunction with, like, a a bit of a little bit of... It's, it's a pretty simple puzzle, but it's still a bit of a puzzle. Which, um, you know, if you're trying to teach mechanics, usually you try and, uh, put as little in the way as possible. Is it just that? Oh, I need to go up there. Right, right. Well, just quickly, can I shoot that from- oh, no, I cannot. See, I need to get this box over here. Right, okay.
Oopsies. <laughs> Should not have put that there. Okay. Now I need to go like that. And then like that. No, I know I need more than that. <laughs> oh, there is a portal placeable surface up there. Okay. I knew I would need the box. I was like, what's the bit? <laughs> you can't just ever leave a box behind. Gotta always bring the box. I feel like the box for the final door is, is usually unnecessary. Oh, usually unnecessary. Only really necessary if the box is difficult to bring to the final <laughs> door. But, um, it's fine, it's fine. We're in the early days yet. We're in the early puzzles. All right. Where are we at? Enter 06. Oh, we've got a camera. Using the same camera logic as the Portal 1 cameras. <laughs> or at least very similar. Uh, bottom flange cracked. No secret. No secrets there. No. So yeah, this turns off the fizzler, right? Yeah. We got a. I like the music. I like the music I'm hearing. It's something more positive sounding than Portal's music. And at some point, I'm gonna be flying through there. There is an orange oh, the orange portal's down there. Okay. I need to bring a box back at some point. Oh, and then we're gonna bounce off some gel, no doubt. The box dropper over there. Gel emitter over there. Well, I mean, let's go up here. Let's get that box. If we can. Oh, the box is through there. Oh no. Never mind. The box is right here. Good. I was about to say, what? <laughs> the box is through there. I was going to be fucking confused. Okay, we need the box there for the for gel. Once again, we kind of kind of do this. I'm going to place the gel in all the places I can. Okay. I can't imagine I'd use much more than that. Gel. Already I think I have more than I need, you know, I've got it in three different spots. But it does mean I can go back and forth, which is nice. Uh, okay, now. I'm gonna get back up there. I can place a portal. I'm gonna drop this down by the portal, but not in the portal. There was, I knew there was a reason for putting the blue gel there. Okay. I do love the dynamic music. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. No portal placeable surfaces on the floor here. So I need to somehow... Oh, I fizzled my blue portal now. Perfect. That's exactly what I need to do. I accidentally did it already. Yeah. I feel like right now my mental acuity is high. So I'm having not too much trouble with any of these. Then again, once again, these are early day puzzles. Uh, let's see if that's enough. Oh, I should have put blue, but I put, should have put blue gel over here. Okay, wait, let's see if I can... <laughs> I can. Okay. Let's see if that's enough. Is this high enough? Let's hope it's high enough. 
Yay! And I didn't bring the box with me. Oh, I probably don't. I'm not probably not supposed to, right? Because I can just get it back. Um. Yeah, no, I definitely was supposed to put gel over here. That was silly of me. Um, all right, let's go do that. Let's go do that real quick. Probably don't need to reset the box to do that. There we go. Back through here. Yeah, that's this is probably the way you're supposed to get up to this platform as well. No! <laughs> I found a problem. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm like full on stuck. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> I broke it somehow. How did I do that? How did I do that? What the heck? Uh, load the latest autosave? <laughs> yeah, how did that happen? Alright. Now it's all set up. So I don't need to don't need to go back up there. I need to go back up here. Go ahead and fizzle that cube. And bring ourselves through a new cube. I nearly like got confused again there. There we go. The door's open. Now I just need to go to the end. And I can do that with gel. Do that entirely with gel. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is... Like, the, the facility is very dishe disheveled, so... We're definitely not in the past, so to speak. We're not... We're not here in the, in the 80s. Or the 60s. Like, this, this 80s imagery, so I'm going to say 80s. Uh, we're not here in the 80s. We're, we're from the future, and we've come back down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the tubes. I forget that the tubes are modern. I forget that the gel is somewhat modern. But, um, actually, the, they have old tubes as well, don't they? Because the gel flow is originally... The gel is actually old. But these, those pipes like that are modern, aren't they? I forget now. <laughs> it's been a while since I played Portal 2. Alright. Is it just the portal down there? It is, I think. Oh no, there's actually another fizzler. Okay, what's through here? Oh. Oh, I see red lines. What are those? What are those? I can't crawl through there, can I? I can't jump over the railing. Hmm, suspicion. Eh. <laughs> I'm not good enough at curving my jumps to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely a secret there, though. You just gotta figure out how to activate it. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Almost high enough to... Wait, 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 wait. That probably is high enough. I just can't... I just can't, um, move fast enough to get up there. Oh, I didn't see that up there. Can I get any through there? I can, but that's not for, not useful for me now at least. 
may or may not be useful later. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, 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 secret, secret, I see that portal, place will surface down there. Okay, I think this is not able to be traversed, but I can fall down here. <laughs> oh, neat. I see that cube over there. Hmm. Where does this lead? Oh. My portal gun has some things lit up on it. I don't know if that one zero or the Kenneth is supposed to glow like that. Oh four eight three six. Bat guano. Deer cow, have a cow, pork so goat, various. Livestock manifest engine nineteen twelve. It's a big hit. <laughs> oh my god. All the all the baguette jokes <laughs> in the uh in the after salt mine team. I can't pick it up. I wanna eat it. <laughs> Holy shit. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm happy I'm, I'm happy I found one I found one secret. Keep out. <laughs> it's all the baguettes. Why are they shiny? <laughs> are they manufactured? This looks like more like modern aperture. But it actually also has the of the 50s aperture logo. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, actually we've got the um like the 80s aperture, the late 80s, early 90s aperture. <laughs> I wonder if these are puzzles made by the team in B mod. You know, like a someone made a mod, um, a puzzle in B mod, and put that in there because that's uh, it's it's the petty, but it looks complicated. So B mod. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going back up to this test chamber. <laughs> Just got a little baguette in secret. Oh, okay. Oh, get a closer look at the cube over there. Oh, <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, it saved it there. Okay. I fell through the floor there. What the heck? I'm letting go of the key. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. There's some weird shit going on. Where it's like, it just keeps moving. Anyway, um, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> I'm so glad I found it. And I found it by failing the puzzle. <laughs> right, I did not go up here. I never actually returned to this part here. Nice. Got ourselves a cube. So we can either, we can keep the flow going. Oh, we probably need that for 
spreading it here. Actually, we probably could have done that without spreading it here. Wait, 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 I'm just gonna check. Because we could have, could have done this. Yeah, like that. I don't know why that never crossed my mind. Okay, yep, stop that. <laughs> stop it. Okay, put the portal like right down here so I don't accidentally funnel into it. There we go. I didn't even know what that was going to do, I just knew I had to take the box over. Um... Oh, wait a second. Oh, I suppose, um... I'll just quick save it, just in case I screw this up. Oh, I had to turn. No. Back on the platform. <laughs> okay, okay. I suppose that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, it turns turns on and off that fizzler. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that's weird. Unless it's like, oh, there's a yeah portal gun something. Portal gun upgrade. Ah. Let's just see if this is enough. No, it is not. Okay. Well... <laughs> we got a little bit. Okay. Okay. The exit is over there. I see that now. So I feel like I need to use the... The height of the other side combined with this one. Combined with this side. Fly out, bounce, and then make it all the way across. Well, I suppose actually, I mean, I could do it better by doing- Oh, I could do it better by doing this. Couldn't I? Have a bunch of gel flying up and down. And then go like that. So a bunch of it falls down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because I need it- I need it kind of here, don't I? Um... Once I have gel going through a portal, I very frequently forget that you can just, like, um, use the gel portal as a portal, you know? Not just have gel going through it. There, okay, so we've sufficiently gelled this up. I don't think I need any more gel. Place this here so I can get up here. And then... I think what I'm supposed to do, rather than what I did before is I'm supposed to go like this, and then like this. Ah! Oh, if that had bounced, it would have been amazing. But anyway, I need I need to go here. I think that, I, yeah, I think I get the orange portal gun from that. Yeah, there we go. Now I can place the orange portal. And it does, the little light does change to orange to show which, which is the last portal fired. That's nice. Okay, yeah, now I have both portals. So, I need to bring the box to this button here. I don't need the box at the other end, it's already open. Um, bring me a box. I wonder if this, is, this height is high enough for it. Let's test that theory. <laughs> I got the, ah, oh, so close. I got the box up there. Okay, once again, I'm going to need to come back with a box. Um, 
It's this portal. Hit the cube. And then, uh, jump through this portal. Not that I need the height. I just needed the box. Okay. Put that there. Now that I have access to both sides, I think I need to return the cube, so I'm gonna quick save it here. So I think I need the height of that side combined with a portal on the other side at the same time. So, like, I'm gonna need to go walk around. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to it. There's an ever so slight angle on this. Um, I knew it. I was like, I'm gonna freaking <laughs> bounce as soon as I go through. Okay. Now, fizzle the box. <laughs> I was trying to get it to hit my head. I failed. Put that back there. And I think we're good. We're good to do it. We oh What the heck? Oh is it F7? Oh, F7 shouldn't be the quick load button. F9 should be the quick load button. I'm gonna correct this right now. So what happened there? There we go. Oh, I went too far. <laughs> it's the heck. <laughs> what the heck? Is that not the solution? Okay, it worked. Finally. But, um... I personally would have cheated it. <laughs> Excepting this portal on this platform, I would have cheated it to land always at the front there. Because, uh... <laughs> if I went straight down, I hit the floor. Which is why, there, I'm sure that's why there was a slight angle on the platform. To try and stop you from hitting the floor, but I still hit the floor. Um, and then getting too uh, high an angle, I f went too far. So, definitely is one of those ones where it's like, you need to cheat it. Just put a little catapult on the other side of the portal uh, that detects your speed. And then if you're going a certain speed, automatically target a specific location. And then you put another catapult on the floor that is <laughs> for speed. Uh, and if you're going the right speed, in the right direction, automatically catapult you because it looked like the catap there was a catapult on the floor leading to that final door which is good that's good practice um but yeah <laughs> anyway i think that's all the time i have for this first episode i've been recording for over an hour i got caught up <laughs> playing and i totally ran out of, like lost track of time okay yeah as i was expecting i was like i was like i haven't made it through the into the mines chapter i was like Am I, am I like, is this, is this demo like super long? Okay, no. <laughs> it's, I mean, yes, it is actually quite long. This demo is, is, I mean, it's already proving itself to be fairly long. But I was like, I haven't reached chapter two and I saw there was a chapter two and a, and a few more. How long is this demo? <laughs> no, it's just that these are, these are chapters that are not yet out. So in, Into the Mines is the first chapter, and that's the chapter that's been released so far. Whatever the case, if you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. I hope you guys look forward to seeing the next section, the rest of the demo, in the next episode. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Check the links in the description, hit the share, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next episode of Aperture Salt Mines.